This is the second example of curvilinear motion and what we're looking at here is uh, something that NASA did recently where they did a kinetic bomb on the, the moon and what they found is that there's water on the moon but uh, I just wanted to go through just a that kind of theme uh, of problem because it's pretty exciting. So what we found here is uh, we have this generic rocket here that's going, uh, they managed to slow it down to about a hundred meters a second and it's three thousand meters off the surface and just for our notation that the rocket is no longer decelerating or accelerating it's just going at constant velocity and we have the gravity of the moon is one-eighth that of Earth's so if it were to release this uh, kinetic bomb, this little circle guy right here, how far would it traverse the surface from the point of release until the point of impact? So what is essentially delta x? And so what you need to do is you need to find out, okay, so how long is it going to take until that hits the ground? And that's the biggest thing. So what is that? That's our vertical analysis or our y direction analysis, right? So we can just start off there. y2 equals y1 minus, well it should be plus uh, vt, but we know that no velocity, it's being released, just released, so there's no initial velocity at all. So this is actually zero, it's just like a ball dropping. Minus one half a t squared. Now one thing I want you to realize is I put a minus there because I wanted to show you that some people uh, do do things differently and all you have to acknowledge here is that the a or the acceleration will no longer be negative because we already put a minus there. And it's just for my notation and I just want you to realize that uh, so you don't get confused. So anyway let's do impact would be zero feet or zero meters I should say. Um, then you have 3,000 minus one-half 9.81 divided by 8 t squared. And when you work that out, you'll find that t, I'll just let you do the algebra, t will equal 69.95 seconds. So that's how long it's going to take, over a minute, for it to hit the ground. So then you say, okay, so now that we know how long it's going to take, let's, uh, let's just see how long it's going to traverse. Um, so we have to do a horizontal analysis now. So x2 equals x1 plus vt. And we don't know what x2 is, because that's what we're trying to find, so x1, let's just make that where the point of release being a reference point, 0, plus 100 meters a second, because that's the velocity, the horizontal velocity. And then you have our time, which is 69.95. And then when you work that out, easy math, 6,995 meters, or if you like it, 6.995 kilometers. There you are. So it's actually going to travel near 7 kilometers before it hits the ground. And that, that I mean that's pretty that's pretty interesting and you could almost it's almost like you could determine the the angle that it's impacting and see if that's how you would want it to um, I know that NASA actually wanted it to hit more straight down so that they got some of the more deeper stuff so th what they did is they actually launched it towards the moon to get a higher impact first of all and a more straight down you could get the deeper stuff so anyway um, let's just move on to the next problem